Antipas, he said to him, Get away from here if you want to live. Herod Antipas wants to kill you. Jesus replied, Go tell that fox that I will keep on casting out demons and healing people today and tomorrow. And the third day, I will accomplish my purpose. Yes, today, tomorrow, and the next day, I must proceed on my way. For it wouldn't do for a prophet of God to be killed, except in Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings. But you wouldn't let me. And now, look, your house is abandoned, and you will never see me again until I say, Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hello, I am driving home from University of St. Mary on the lake in Wonderline. Had a great half day of solitude and silence there. talk a little bit about, uh, I really like this part, um, stopped now, oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers, how often I wanted to gather your children as hen, as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. So um, one first reflection on this is just as I have felt many, many times is that I don't, I don't, uh, I have not historically really read the Bible with any intention of understanding it or appreciating it. It just shows me that I clearly didn't really prioritize um, knowing God and understanding Him. And, um, you know, everything I can say is cliche, but um, it's very powerful to start to try to embrace this for the first time for real today, um, and I know I still have so far to go. I'm not a scholar, I'm just a student, and I'm loving, loving the study and the connecting with him. Um, so, all that to say, um, I just was really imagining the idea of him being like a mother chicken or a hen, I guess, gathering the chicks on, in under her wings to protect them and I just got this really amazing sensation of feeling protected and loved and cared for and um, safe and it actually kind of reminded me of um, a time in my childhood so my brother Paul is uh, the year the grade ahead, was a grade ahead of me in school and Paul was a really um, aggressive, strong, athletic, confident guy. Um, I was kind of just a nerdy little girl. And um, Paul was also very protective. So um, 
I remember there were times where he would really, when I needed it, he would really stand up for me. I remember this one time um, I was uh, in the lunchroom and with my, just at a table with me and my nerdy friends and um, I thought that some guy was giving me a weird look and made me um, uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know if it really happened or not, but it so happened that Paul had lunch at the same time as me. And I went up to his table and I said, Paul, those guys over there were looking at me funny and I didn't like it. So Paul gets up, sorry, weird glare on my face there. Paul gets up, he goes to their table and basically says something to the effect of, hey, heard you guys were looking at my sister weird. Don't do that or you'll have to mess with me. I was like, yes. And you know, growing up, uh, I didn't feel scared or threatened in general because I had Paul and of course my older brothers would have protected me too, but they were a lot older and weren't really around like in the school times and stuff. Um, I had Paul and like, Paul wasn't, as, wasn't scared to fight. I would have been scared to fight, but he wasn't scared to fight. And he, I knew he would protect me. Like, I knew he would do whatever it took. So, um, that's kind of a cool memory. Thanks, Paul. I love you, bro. And I think um, now that I'm older, you know, I, I'm starting to realize, and God is helping me realize, that the real dangers aren't the physical dangers. It's not what people will do to my body. It's actually, my real dangers are the lies from Satan and the spiritual powers and truly my own mind and what my, how my own mind works against me and against the benefit of God in my life. And um, when I think about Jesus and his protection, that's what I think he's protecting us from. I mean, many Christians have suffered terrible physical um, demise and pain. Um, in fact, surely most Christians have. So when I think about Jesus being like a hen protecting her chicks and bringing them in, I think it's that spiritual and mental protection that he gives us as he grows us in him and as we become like him and the fruits of the Spirit start to become our an expression of our true inner self. So that's pretty cool. And then I was thinking about like the disciples and the apostles and how, um, you know, unlike Jerusalem, they probably let Jesus protect them. I mean, they did let him protect them because they dedicated their everything to him. And in that, he was their spiritual protector through all of the torment that they suffered. He protected their spirits their minds and their thoughts. So um, so then I thought about, well, with Jesus protecting them, you know, what were they like? Well, they weren't like the little scared little huddling chicks, you know, or staying under their that mama hen's wings. You know, they were, they were like the opposite of that. When they got protected by the mama hen, they became strong and confident and unstoppable. Like, uh, you know, maybe like my brother was when he was physically protecting me. Um, they had no fear because it, they knew that the problems in life weren't a snake. They were just ropes. They weren't a threat. And the only true threat they had been protected by and they were fearless and courageous and dauntless undaunted. Let me how you say that. Anyway, if you know what I mean. So that's really kind of cool. It's very inspiring to think about that and imagine that um, coming into existence in my own life. So that is really cool. Um, I think that's really, uh, I didn't really get that last verse about um, saying that, okay, I'm going to stop right now. I can do this. Um, and you will never see me again until you say blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Didn't really get that. If you got that, you 